Hi everyone, this is Kaylee from CandyFlossDreams.net. Today I am going to be joining in with the Vlogstars 20 questions about me tag. I put all the links below so that you can join in if you like. Uh, this is hosted by you baby me mummy and Mr and Mrs T plus three. Feel free to come and join in, it'd be great to have you. I, well, I don't know why I'm doing this, like I haven't even joined before. I'm already like, yeah I'm part of this now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to go in and, and start this. Um, I've got my questions here, so I'm going to have to kind of keep lifting paper to check. Um, so the first question, um, I've probably written these all down wrong as well, um, is um, what is one thing you cannot leave the house without? Uh, I'm kind of jumping right on the bandwagon from all the other videos that I've seen and saying my phone. I'm a terrible person, I'm a terrible human being, but it's true. Um, not just for like selfish, self-absorbed reasons either, like I do check my phone a lot, but mostly um, I can't drive, uh, it's one big thing, and my school run takes me um, an hour there and back, um, and if something were to happen to Evangeline in the very early time of starting school, then obviously I've got my phone with me in case someone needs to contact me, uh, and again when she's at her dad's, I've always got a method of being contacted if I need to be. There's me justifying why I can't leave the phone, the phone behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, the second question is my favourite makeup brand. I don't have a favourite makeup brand. Um, I have a lot of makeup. I'll try and get a picture somewhere in this space to kind of show you just how much I have. It's not as much as other people, I would say, but I ha I have a lot. I have a lot of skincare stuff as well, but I have a lot of makeup. Um, I don't. I I I I, 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 I like to use a different a lot of different types of brands. Um, recently I've really been enjoying using the Revolution, which is available in Superdrug. I think it's a really good brand. I think it's really affordable. I think the shades in the eyeshadows and the contour palettes are really nice. They match really nicely with my skin, or at least I feel they do anyway. Um, I've had a lot of stuff before because I've had like beauty box subscriptions, and that's helped me find different types of brands. But I personally kind of think when it comes to makeup. You don't need to stick to one brand, you can kind of like mix and match them up. You're, you, the key thing is finding the, suit, the best shade for your skin tone. And sometimes that's not available in all different types in, in the same brand. So you might need a concealer from somewhere else, a foundation from another place, eyeshadow palettes as well, blah, 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 blah. So it's kind of up to you to f try more. That's what testers are for, that's what how I justify that anyway. Um, but also, uh, well, just a couple of brands as well. When it comes to more expensive stuff, I quite like the Soap and Glory makeup for like the lip glosses. I really like Bare Minerals foundation. I think it's really nice. I prefer powder foundation myself anyway. Uh, and I like using direct sales makeup as well. I will buy from reps that sell it because um, I. I like to support my, my fellow business people and also like I like a lot, having a lot of makeup so I won't buy from anyone that sells it. That's not good, I'm <laughs> really, there's my addiction anyway. Um, next one is my favourite flowers, I don't really like flowers, that's really horrible isn't it? Like I think they're pretty but I don't have a favourite, like I never have, I don't, if, if no one ever buys me flowers for the rest of my life I I think I'll be okay with that. My daughter loves daffodils though. Uh, favourite clothes shop. I don't have a favourite clothes shop. Um, like, if I'm going like out somewhere fancy, I'll look around and find a dress that I like. I, I will just go to different shops. I really don't like clothes shopping at all. I really hate it. And I'm very much a leggings and baggy t-shirts or dress kind of person. Uh, I like animal dresses, they're very nice if I can find one of my size, but because I'm a 20, I struggle. Um, yeah, I guess animal, I suppose, but I, I have one thing, two things. I have a hoodie and a dress from there, so I can't really say it's my favourite. Uh, favourite favorite perfume? Um, I remember having a bottle of diesel perfume for my 16th birthday and since then I've always really loved the brand. The Fuel for Life is probably my favourite, however at the moment I am wearing the uh, Flash by Jimmy Choo. <clears throat> uh, heels or flats? Um, flats. 
I don't need to say any more than that. <laughs> I can't walk in heels. Um, number seven, did you do well at school? I did. I did really well in my mock exams for GCSE and then I kind of lost the questions there. Oops. Um, I, yeah, I did really well in my mock exams for my GCSEs, but for my actual exams in year 11, I, I don't know, I didn't really go to school very much, so I missed quite a lot. Um, not because I was ill or rebellious, I just didn't want to be there. I suppose, it's kind of rebellious, but it wasn't because I was like, oh, I'm going to disobey my parents. My parents didn't really know. That's really bad, actually, isn't it? Um, I, I did enough. I did well enough. I got B's and C's mostly. I had a couple of D's, one in maths, one in graphic design. I can't draw, so that's not really any surprise to me. And I, I don't like uh, maths; makes me cry. So that doesn't really surprise me either. But I did go to college. Um, I did, started doing my AS levels. Chose completely the wrong subjects. Did eventually get my C in maths, um, and then dropped out of college halfway through my second year because I was retaking my first year. It was all a massive kerfuffle. Um, and yeah, I just study in. I like learning new things, but I don't like studying. I've kind of come to that conclusion. I, I like learning things off my own back because I'm interested in them, not because I have to take a test. I don't agree with testing, but that's another rant. Uh, anyway, uh, favourite colours? Colour. Um, my favourite colour changed. I, I like pink a little bit. Red's probably my favourite colour. My living room's red. I, I buy a lot of red stuff. But then I, want, I like pink as well. Pink and red. Pinks and reds. Nice, warm, bright, summery, girly colours, I guess. Uh, question number nine. Do you drink energy drinks? I drink coffee. Does that count? I don't drink, like, Red Bull or anything like that, though. Um, do you drink juice? Like squash? Not really, sometimes. But I can have... I just drink water or tea or coffee or lemonade. Um, I used to drink a lot of Diet Coke. I haven't done for about two months now. Maybe longer, I don't know. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> this is going to be an attractive manoeuvre. Sorry, you probably got right up in the roots of my face then. So, yeah, I used to drink a lot of Diet Coke. It was, it's terrible. Like the, the, I've done the three litre bottle from Iceland before. That was a terrible thing to do. And now, even having a can makes me feel really ill the next day. Like gives me really bad headaches and makes me feel awful, so I don't drink anymore. Um, do you like swimming? I do like swimming. I don't go as much as I should and I'm probably going to have to start going more because I don't want to be fat anymore. That's not like a compliment, like such thing. It's fine. I'm good with how I look. Uh, do you eat fries with a fork? No. Like, I don't eat fries with a fork. I don't eat chips with a fork. If I go anywhere that where chips is served, I'll eat them with my fingers because I'm disgusting. Uh, but then if I'm going somewhere nice, I tend not to order chips for that reason. So, yeah, I, I don't eat them with a fork ever. Not even at home. I'm really gross. Favourite moisturiser? Uh, I said in my favourites video for my Actiderm products, Actilab products, that my moisturiser I was using was Mesoderm, which I was still using and I still really like. However, I use whatever moisturiser I can get my hands on. Um, I have, I like the Slip and Glory moisturisers, I think they're really nice, although I haven't really got one for your face. I really like the Dove Gradual Tannin one, um, again, I, I use the one for your body on my face, which I probably shouldn't, uh, so I'll just use a variety of, I've got a lot of moisturisers and I'll use whichever one is closest to me, but I really do like that Mesoderm one because it's nice. Um, are you married? No. <sighs> um, I obviously have a child, I'm not with her dad for various reasons, which I have spoke about on my blog before, briefly. If you want to have a read, I would recommend searching for the post What a Change, which was written in 30th, uh, September 2013, after we'd been split up for a year and I'd moved on with my life. Um, now, I live with my partner, Adam, who is really, really good with Evangeline. I can't really ask more than that. We've talked about marriage, and we've talked about babies, and we've talked about moving, and none of those three things have happened yet, and I think we're both too lazy to make any of them happen anytime soon, but we'll see. You'll be the first to know. You won't. I'll, I'll be the first to know. Um, the next question, and I've written the numbers really badly, I think this is number 15, is do you get mad easily? Um, n no, not mad. But I don't have very much patience for people. 
at all. Um, I like things done my way and I'm very much, if I want something done, I'll do it myself unless I really have no idea how and then I will get really annoyed at people that do know how that won't do it. I wonder how that could be. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I try not to but I do lose my pace. I get very stressed easily and I get anxious easy, easily. Um, Travelling is one of the things, even though I, I love travelling, but actually getting out of the house and getting to the train station as none of us drive is one of the most stressful things um, because I hate being late. So mostly I'm annoyed or I get annoyed or anxious or angry or stressed because I'm going to be late. That's usually why. Next question. Do you believe in ghosts? Yep. Um, yeah, I do. When I was really little, I had imaginary friends who my mum went to a fortune teller and she was told that they were like ghosts or spirits or something. Um, and I'm, I think I'm, I've seen stuff in my flat. I mean, no, nothing like negative or I feel, felt anything negative. Um, and yeah, I, I do. No, I don't like believe in religion though, so. Just ghosts. I don't have any phobias. I'm I'm really scared of moths <laughs> or anything that will fly right in my face. I don't like birds. No, I do like birds. I really like owls. This is about phobias though, so I need to not talk about owls for once. Um, yeah, I I don't I don't like moths because they do tend to go right in here, and I don't like things too close to my face. Uh, pigeons. I don't like pigeons rather than birds. Um. I don't like going up on anything. Like, I really love roller coasters, but I don't like the going up the hill bit, and I don't like going up in aeroplanes. I just don't like going up. I don't like going up in lifts or escalators, so it's it's going up places I don't like. Even stairs, I get really, if I'm, if it's like a really, not like a normal flight of stairs, but if it's like a really long flight of stairs, I start about halfway, either going up or down, with just with stairs this one, and escalators in London. My my hands start getting sweaty and like I'm I start panicking. I'm gonna if I'm going up that I'm gonna fall backwards and like die at the bottom of the escalator or the stairs. And then going upstairs are just like looking at how many you've got to climb worries me. Um do you bite my nails? Do you bite your nails? I do bite my nails. That's why they look as bad as they do. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Like, do you mean like, I don't know why I'm asking my phone, because my phone can't answer. Siri is not available right now. Do I have, um, no, I haven't like had any like of those kind of like, I saw the light uh, kind of thing. But when I was being born, um, I had the umbilical cord tied around my neck five times, I think, and it was kind of like, a pretty massive thing in the 80s anyway I, I don't know I, do, I was there but I don't really remember it so that happened um, and then the other one that happened was again I really can't remember it but I was in a car crash when I was very little but I was I come out unharmed and just glass was everywhere um, and that's with my nan and granddad I think we were going to Marwell Zoo but I was about two so I, I don't remember that uh, my sister on the other hand, has seemed to have, to have all the really ser terrible, terrible injuries. She um, cracked her head open when she was two, and I was there for that. I seem to have been there for the two biggest, scariest things that have happened to my sister. Um, she cracked her head open quite badly, like from eyebrow down to her ear, so she's got a beautiful, beautiful scar there now. Uh, and the other thing that she did was fell in a river while the boat was like coming into the side, and... I saw her do that as well, so I was like, again, didn't really do anything, because I was, I, I, about that time I was, she must have been about five, so I was about ten maybe, so I just screamed and my dad jumped in, and she was absolutely fine, um, but a boat nearly squashed her to death. So my sisters had quite a few terrible accidents, but I have never really had anything awful, uh, even in labour, even though I ended up with an emergency cesarean, and a fever and everything that went, could have gone wrong went wrong. Um, I was still fine after that. Um, I didn't lose too much blood or anything like that. So yeah, I'm pretty boring. Touch wood. I've never really broken a bone either. I'll touch wood again because I don't want to. 
Um, and the last question is, do you drink coffee? Have I got that right? Is that really the last question? Question 20 is, do you drink coffee? Yeah, I do. I love to drink coffee. Yeah, I, like, I love all types of coffee. I love flavoured coffee. I love frothy cappuccinos, lattes. I love Christmas coffee, like the Starbucks do the best ones, like with the gingerbread lattes and hazelnut lattes and stuff. I like, I like coffee. And I've now got, I used to have a Tasmo at home that broke, and now I have one of the Nescafe Dolce Gusto Krups coffee machines that my dad gave me um, and that's very good too so I do like coffee that that's it then so that's my 20 questions done and this is nearly 16 minutes long so I should probably stop this now um, and <laughs> and try and find a way of putting a picture in of all my lovely makeup do you know I might make it the thumbnail because that's the only thing I can work out how to do on YouTube anyway if you like this video I'd really love it if you could subscribe to my channel uh, where you'll get updates on my blog posts, reviews, all that kind of lovely things. I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up as well, that'd be great. And if you would like to comment, I will speak to you. Bye!